Are you ready with an opening statement? I'm uh, just proud of our guys, proud of the way we competed the last two days. You know, again, it goes back to that two heavyweights trading punches, and, you know, we were just one run better again, and thought we competed really well, and got some big hits today. These two guys, plus Willie T with the home runs, and the inning where we scored two, you know, played the game, get them on, get them over, get them in, two out RBI, and then the, the situational pitching uh, throughout the game was really good too. Aiden Kanak did his thing, <coughs> you know, battled. Um, and then Drew Titsworth came in and was really good. And Nick Clayton to strand uh, the runner at third with their two dudes up with um, Petrie and Messina up and to get a, a ground out and a strikeout that was big time. Uh, and then Gordo, you know, making a appearance uh, as, you know, in a closed situation. And uh, ninth innings are tough. You know, they never go one, two, three, no matter how you, how many times you want it to go that way. So, you know, it was, it was only fitting that there was some some drama in the ninth, but ultimately it just, you know, just love the way our guys compete and, and proud that uh, we clinched the series with, you know, one more game to play. Questions for players? Well, Nolan, your, your fellow New Yorker was a hero last night, and then you hit the home run today. Um, uh, you know, not growing up with this series, which is maybe the best in college baseball, did it live up to your expectations? Oh yeah, uh, I think this is the best rivalry in college baseball. It's it's great to be a part of it. I'm just so happy that we can all embrace these moments. Um, and yeah, just, just keep competing. Blake, what's it mean for you guys to, to win this series this year? Oh, it means so much. Um, I mean, like you said, this is the best rivalry in uh, college baseball. Definitely in the state. Um, absolutely huge win for us. Huge win. Uh, we played hard as a team. Uh, played super competitive. Uh, they're a good club. You know, definitely got a little chippy, but that's what makes it fun. And uh, it means a lot. It means a lot to this university. It means a lot for us. But we got these guys again in April. Uh, we got a big game coming up on Wednesday, so we're just going to keep the momentum going. <coughs> Like your, your home run was all obviously a huge insurance run there. Um, just take us through that at bat. What did you see? Yeah, I was just trying to get on because I know I got guys behind me that are going to have some good at bats and get me over and, and eventually get me in. But I was just trying to get on base, do whatever I can to get in scoring position. Nolan, at first couple of at bats, it looked like you were kind of dialed in. And I went to the rail and I was like, I think he's going to get one here. It looked like you strode to the plate with a purpose. Uh, what were you looking for there? Just looking for something that uh, I could hit, help our team win, and get on base. Um, just trust in my training and the training we go through every day. It puts me in the best place to to do damage and to help the team win. Anything else for the players? All right, thank you, players. Thanks, <laughs> Coach, your team. I mean, the word that I, you already said, it battled uh, over these two games. Just clean pitching, clean defense for the most part. Do you feel that way, that this this is a kind of a grinded out series win? Yeah, I think I think when, when you've got two really good clubs with the rivalry the way it is, just amplifying everything. You know, it's already two good teams going at it, and then you put in everything else and the, the crowd and the fans and the, you know, just the energy and, the fireworks and, the, the, you know, just it's just like, yeah, you, both teams just mentally and physically exhausted after both sides. So we're very lucky to, to be one run better. and uh, But that's a really good club, like Blake said. And you can see, you know, that they're going to go on to continue to be very successful with just the, the caliber of, um, of players that they have. So it's, it, it, we knew we were in for a battle to begin with just because they're physically talented, very talented, but to, you know, the back and forth, the trading punches, the, you know, it's always, you know, one pitch away. And that's games like this, that's why there's so closely mirror postseason games because it's just the, the difference in the game is truly one pitch. The margin in these types of games are one pitch. So we're, we're fortunate to be one pitch better, uh, but that's you know, it's a great club over there. You were a few outs away from winning the series last year. How special is this for you to win your first home medals in the series as a head coach here at Clemson? I'm just excited for our players and our fans and you know 
all the Clemson fans in the state that are just so closely connected to this. We're talking about thousands and upon tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people that that follow this so close and are, are so locked into it. Um, and so for all those people that are Clemson, you know, to, to be able to continue to contribute to the athletic department's narrative of, you know, who's got those bragging rights. I'm just glad that we, we did our part to contribute to the athletic department because um, this, is, this is a huge rivalry in, with all the sports. It just happens to be in our sport. It's the best in our sport in college baseball, but it's, it's great for our fans, our, for our university, and I'm most excited for, for the guys on the team because it's, you know, watching them celebrate again. It goes back to that Christmas morning. You just, that's why you coach. You, you know, you just, you chasing those celebratory moments to see that look on their face and, you know, those dog pile-esque caliber moments. And we, we had one last night and today was another one. Aiden settled in and then you get great work out of the bullpen from, from Titsworth and Clayton, Marshall, uh, Gordon. How big did those guys come up? It was huge because it was, I mean, we're, those decisions, again, it goes down to one pitch here or there, and so every decision is magnified because there's always a matchup or somebody on or in scoring position. So, um, you know, we were fortunate that everyone that came in executed and pitched very well and made quality pitches when they needed to and picked each other up and escaped jams. Uh, but those guys all pitched really well in whatever situation they were put into. Um, you know, and some of them haven't done it before. Gordon hasn't been the closer before. And, um, so, you know, for him to take the ball in the ninth and, and find a way to close the door, that was huge. So, with Aiden Cap, uh, what have you seen in his first couple of starts that gave you the confidence to put him in there as a freshman in the rivalry game? Yeah. <laughs> he's, um, we saw, we didn't see it the first weekend, and he's making, you know, 19-year-old kid making his Division One debut, but we stuck with him because it's what we've seen the whole preseason and really the whole year up to this point, going back to the fall. And it's forget the velocity and the induced vertical break and the, the stuff. It's this kid's got really good poise. He's mature beyond his years. He uh, he's very disciplined with a routine uh, every day. He, he just operates his life uh, like you would almost expect from a veteran player, an upperclassman. He's just, he's just very mature, and we just felt like you don't, the recipe isn't just throw the freshman in on the weekend, maybe you give him a few midweek starts to you know, get his feet underneath him, but he's just a little different, and um, he's different mentally. There's a lot of good, talented arms out there, but he was just different mentally that we felt like he could, he could handle it. Um, and so, you know, he, he just has very good poise, and he has the ability to center himself, you know, um, in addition to the stuff that he has and the command that he has. Uh, he's, you know, he's a chance to be a great pitcher for Clemson and pitch for a long time. Have y'all talked to any at all trying, when you might be able to make up that first game? I've heard of a couple dates in April. Um, it, it's got a matchup for both clubs. You know, it'll be their home game, so ultimately it'll be their call. But um, I think we're, it's still got to line up with both of our schedules. Both teams have to agree to it. Um, but I think we're looking at somewhere, somewhere in the early to middle part of April. Um, maybe one of those Wednesdays or something. I don't, I don't know. But it'll be, it'll, it'll. I'm almost positive it'll be in April. That uh, that two run fourth to tie the game was set up by a beautiful sack bunt by Mathis. Uh, I think we can all say Coach Lee would have been swinging her way there with, with two on, but uh, you never shot away from manufacturing runs. Well, and that was a credit to you know how well they were pitching at the time. Um, you know, we the hits were t tough to come by for both teams today. Uh, I looked up and. Like both teams had four hits at one point late in the game, 
So that was more of a, yeah, normally we would swing away too, um, especially middle of the game like that with the four hole hitter up, but that's why everyone in our program has to have the ability to get one down because it doesn't matter where you hit the order. We may need you to do a team play and uh, in bunt for a hit. If it doesn't end up as a bunt hit, then it's a sacrifice to move the runners over. And it, and it worked out great because, you know, Jimmy Overtop hits an RBI ground out and then Andrew Chufo and gets a two-out RBI, even if it, though it was a blooper, you had a guy in scoring position to score easily on that play. So it was um, just a, just good team baseball. And um, in those types of games where the margin is small and every run is more valuable than just a run, uh, it was really important to get the bunt down there. You, you guys were right in a high after last night. Did you try and get your team to ride that high into the day, or did you <coughs> settle back down before today's game? Yeah, we, we always talk about enjoy this one, you know, tonight. And by the time we got back on from the bus ride, it was like 10.30. You know, we pulled back into DKS and just said, you know, you got about another hour, hour and a half uh, to enjoy this. And then, you know, and then when your head hits that pillow, you know, it's another, another job to do tomorrow and totally centered and focused on playing well again tomorrow being very competitive tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll enjoy this one tonight. And they've got a, you know, a day, day and a half to recover. Tuesday, it'd be nice because it uh, be just a, a training day, a lifting day. And then we got a really good Kansas State team coming in. They started to be nationally ranked. So this will be a big time midweek matchup. They're very good. Um, so we need to, you know, we can't celebrate this for too long. We got to get locked back in on Kansas State. You said you wanted to see your team face adversity for these first few weeks. You've seen a blowout loss. You've seen extra innings, two close games, extra – I mean, whatever. Is this what you wanted to see out of them? And what, what have you found out about this group? Yeah, they can take a punch. Um, that's, been, that's been really, really good to see. Um, you know, Blake gave a senior speech at our banquet, our preseason banquet, and the, one of the things that he said is one of the things we talked a lot about last year is we're never out of the fight. And so we have mostly played from a deficit this year. Uh, there's just haven't been that many games where we've just taken a lead, extended a lead, and that's it. I mean, it's been a, it's been a uh, get behind, have to tie it up or win it or do it late or whatever. So I do like that. I like the, that they are a resilient bunch and have shown that gritty trait of truly believing that they can come back. and. You know, to be a comeback team, you got to come back. You know, you have to do it, um, and uh, and know that that it's part of your DNA and part of your identity. So I I like how we've been tested and how we've responded. More importantly.